Oh, hey guys, it's Kimber, and this is my apartment. Let's go. So I've been living in this apartment for about a year and three months and um, I have been dying to say this one line as a YouTuber and now that I'm finally ready to tour my apartment I can't wait to say it but here is the very beginning and this is the Genkan as it is called in Japanese. Um, it's special because there's a little step up here. So traditionally Japanese people take their shoes off before entering the room. I also do. And then because my floor is hard, I put on my house shoes and I leave my regular shoes in the Genkan. Aside from the Genkan, there is the door for starters. There's a couple of interesting things about this door. First, um, my door has two locks, one and two. I never use this one. I always feel like the one lock is enough protection. There is a uh, third step of protection. So if you put this down um, and you have this, uh, oh yeah, out like this. When somebody comes to the door and you open it, it leaves just enough room to answer. I never use it. I always pr feel like pretty safe in Japan. Um, thirdly, my door is magnetic. As you can see, I have all of my magnets up here, but it's really useful because then I can have like a board for reminders or positive messages in the morning. And fourthly, or lastly, I have a mailbox. I have a duster in my mailbox. I don't know where to put this, but yeah, my mail comes through, through the slot and gets deposited in here. Next to the door, <clears throat> I have storage, bag storage. This didn't come with the apartment. I just simply bought some hooks at Daiso to hang up my paper bags because living in Japan, you have like a whole collection of paper bags for some reason. But then on the left side, I have my shoe rack and this thing is huge, guys. Like I didn't have many shoes to start with, but I somehow accumulated a bunch of shoes over time. And I, since I have like plenty of room, as you can see, I also use this area for like things that I want to grab on the go, like scarves, hats, grocery bags, and it's COVID, so I have my mask area over here as well. So yes, this is my entire Genkan area. It's very roomy. I'm very pleased with this area. Um, this to the left, this is just a bunch of junk. We're gonna ignore that. But to the right is my coat hanger <laughs> slash bathroom. And I love this bathroom. It's very spacious. And if you're living in the US or maybe any Western place, you'll notice that my bathroom or my toilet is separate from my shower room, which I'll show you guys more of later. But yeah, so this is my bathroom. Um, I don't even know where to begin. There's so many things that I love about just this toilet area. I think for starters, the toilet is amazing. Um, not many Jet ALTs got this in my part of town in Osaka, but I have the toilet that, that plugs into the wall. So as you can see, I have a bunch of different features. Um, the stop button, the butt button, the girl coochie button, <laughs> for lack of better words. Um, I don't know what these do, but I'm sure they're useful, and I believe one of these heats my toilet seat, so in the winter my toilet seat is not cold. It's very plasticky, very thick, um, but also very clean. I like this feature. Um, this is the kanji for small, and this is the kanji for big. So if you want to flush just like a small amount of water, you would flip the switch this way. But if you have a bigger duty, duty, then you would flush for the big one. Uh, more water comes out. And as you guys probably know from watching a bunch of Japanese apartment videos, most toilets come with this accessory. Water comes out so that um, not all of the water is being wasted. You can wash your hands with this. I don't. That's the only thing about Japanese culture I haven't really adopted. Um, I put in some extra storage, um, some bins for toilet paper, 
and feminine products and just to make it like a little more lively in here because you know you want your toilet area to be calm and relaxing and yeah oh i forgot to mention but i love this about japanese bathrooms the toilet paper is easy to take out and it's easy to assemble oops one more time like this okay so bathroom Gencon. let's go to the right so here is my kitchen space i actually have a much larger kitchen space than a lot of people i know usually the standard is like this maybe like this much cutting space and then like a sink that might be a little smaller than this so this is actually a really decent sized um kitchen in japan in order to like preserve the countertop space I decided to go to Daiso and buy these really like useful hooks so that everything that I'm not using I can just hang it up and then I have more counter space. Um, an interesting thing <clears throat> about a lot of the sinks in Japan is they do not have a disposal. So basically they have like this container, you put a net in it, it's dirty right now. But you put a net in it and it catches everything that's not supposed to go down the drain. You take it out and you throw it in the trash. And yeah, that's how we deal with disposal. Also, I don't have a dish washer. Um, this is all storage underneath here. Um, but it's nice because I have a lot of storage unlike a lot of my coworkers. Uh, also, I have a lot of storage here two shelves of it. It's really nice. I'm not going to go into depth what I have in here. I always found that very annoying <laughs> about some videos, so I'm just going to skip over that because I don't think anyone cares what's in my pantry. Um, this is nice. The light. Big fan. Small fan. Off. Very simple. I have it on right now so you guys can see my kitchen. Uh, my fridge is also huge compared to a lot of other people. Um, I have the freezer and the like just cool like fridge, but a lot of people I've seen they only have fridges that are this size like maybe like a college dorm fridge um, Yeah, microwave just basic looking it's normal Rice cooker. I think everyone has a, well, at least one rice cooker um, a teapot and a blender more storage which is really nice and more storage here which let me tell you <laughs> there's just not like a lot of room in japanese apartments so any amount of storage that they give you when you move in is a good thing <laughs> so that's my kitchen area and a very very full trash can i need to change that but trash day is until tuesday okay this is my <laughs> How shall we call it? laundry slash um, bathroom area? So I have a very very nice shower. If you want to know more about my shower, um, I'll put a link to a video I made about some reasons why I love it. But this shower is amazing. I'll brush over some of the few things. For example, I have my laundry hanging in here right now. That's because my shower room doubles as a um, dryer in this apartment. Not all apartments come with this, so I'm very fortunate. I turn it on and hot air goes through there. And then when I close this, the hot air stays in there and it helps to dry my clothes, especially when it's difficult in the winter time. I have the big shower tub. It's very deep um, and two water preserving like lids. I bought the seat, but I recommend having one of those in Japan. Um, usually the showers will come with this shower head. You can like take it off and you can put it for a standing position or sitting position. Um, and then yeah, storage in the shower, which is not common. Let me tell you, some showers only come with like the one shelf. I have three, so I'm very fortunate. And this one has the function of like, you can use hot water or cold water. And it can either be for the shower head 
or if you go down, um, it'll come out this faucet here. So yeah, I absolutely love and adore my shower room. Um, coming to Japan, I was actually really worried because if I got anything less than the shower, I knew that my quality of life, I know this is dramatic, but my quality of life would be very, very low. So if you want to know more, the link is above. Um, you can watch that video about my shower room. Then um, I have a vanity for the stuff that I do outside of the shower. Like I said, this apartment's great. There's so much storage here, so much storage here. I have so much stuff, like it's amazing how much storage that actually comes in this itty bitty apartment. Also here, a bunch of different like storage. I usually keep like toothpaste and deodorants and things like that down there. Um, I love this shower nozzle. You can choose, it's all, it's literally like a sink nozzle in the US. You can choose between like spray or just like a flow of water. Um, so this part of my bathroom, I just love. The lighting is great. They came with the LED lights, so it's always bright. Um, one thing my apartment did not come with is this laundry machine. This um, has been really nice. It's the first time I've ever owned like my own laundry machine. Um, it's small. It is only... 4.5 kg so that's how much it holds so maybe um, it can only hold like one of these laundry baskets at a time uh, it's really nice though um, like it's just really convenient I don't have to go to a laundromat um, and it only uses cold water so I can never do a warm wash and then the last section in like my laundry sauce bath is this like hanger I just keep like toiletry laundry, clothes that I'm like using but not at the moment, and where I put my dirty clothes. This along with like the rest of the apartment is very, 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 very spacious. I love how this is just open and not feeling like it's closed off. I've had friends over, if you want space or you want privacy, this will come out and it'll connect magnetically to the other side of the wall so that if you need the privacy, um, you can have it in your bathroom area. So this is really nice. I have actually used this a couple of times in my apartment. And I have a door. This is not common <laughs> in a lot of apartments. Like I said, I think I have a really, really nice apartment, but um, usually they're just like straight through, like the apartment is just one room. Luckily, I have a door, so now I'll show you my bedroom. So this is my bedroom. I have like a, a regular sized bed, it's not a twin. I have a closet area. It's very spacious. I have an air con. I have the double doors to the back, which I absolutely hate. <laughs> Um, and then everything else I bought, so I bought the mirror and the plant. This is just kind of like my little calm space, um, and decorating. Oh yeah, and I have a kotatsu. So if that kind of puts the room in perspective for you guys, it's actually very, very big. I am one fortunate girl. Uh, yeah, so what can I say about this room? There's a couple of things I like about this room, and then there's a couple of things I don't like about this room. So I guess I'll start with what I do like. I like that I have a door. So when I come into this room, I can close the door and be separate from the kitchen. I think that this, like, having a door is nice because, like, in the wintertime when it gets cold or in the summertime when it gets really, really hot and I want to run my aircon, um, it takes a lot of, like, energy to run it. So, um, in most cases where you can't, like, close the door, the aircon has to work twice as hard to make the whole entire space warm or the whole entire space cold. Whereas in my case, I can simply shut the door and then I can preserve the warmth in just this room so I don't have to spend as much money heating or cooling my room. Um, I also like the light system. This is my switch and right now it's on max. I turn it off, 
it'll go to like half max i turn it off it'll go to like dim and then that's that's it there's a lot more features but for the basic features this is really really nice the number one thing which i don't like about this space is the walls and the floors the walls are super 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 thin like the level the volume that i'm talking at right now my neighbors most likely can hear me this is why it's taken so long to take this video is because i've been waiting for a time when i'll be home and i won't be like disrupting my neighbors on both sides the second thing that i hate about this this apartment um <clears throat> are the floors they're like they're real wood and in the winter they get really really cold and I have to wear socks and these slippers or these shoes at all times indoors and also they're just really hard like I don't like to be stepping on this hard floor all the time which is why I got this padding for the floor is so that when I sit on the floor which as you've no probably noticed I don't have any chairs so I, I sit on the floor that's what I do and so it's really nice to have like this padding because the floor is just so like unbearably hard. It's not like comfortable to sit on at all. Another thing that I like about this apartment um, is my closet. Um, a lot of my, a lot of the people who came here with me, their closets are very small. My closet is actually very big in comparison. I have like the top shelf, the rack which goes all the way across and then a bunch of like floor space this is not the case for like a lot of people in my area okay and then i will show you my patio area very briefly so it opens like this this is actually kind of interesting it opens like this this unlocks it and then you can open it from either this side or you can open it from this side um, I'm not really sure the purpose of this. <laughs> I just think it's like randomly convenient for some reason. Okay. And then outside, this is my patio. As you can see, it's like super small. I never sit out here. I never spend time out here. I actually never use this rack. This rack is for hanging your laundry, um, but I dry my laundry inside. So I never use that either. So I'm just gonna give you one more uh, like walkthrough just very quickly of my apartment. So we have the GenCon, we have the toilets, we have the kitchen, we have the bathroom and the shower slash laundry area. And then through here, we have my bedroom. Okay, and that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what apartments look like in Japan. Um, I really like my apartment, so let me know what your thoughts or your comments are on my apartment. Uh, but thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!